What's poppin' all stars? Welcome back to my channel. It's Damn She Jamaican, your biggest and brightest shining star. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the Pisces man. Let's get it. Okay, so just jumping straight into the video, Pisces. Okay, so Pisces are ruled by two planets. They're ruled by Neptune and Jupiter. So basically when you think of Pisces, you think of the last zodiac sign, first to last zodiac sign. You think of the two fishes swimming in opposite direction, right? And you think about a water sign and you think about an emotional, spiritual water sign. Okay, so what does this say and what does this mean if you are born a Pisces and if you're a male Pisces at that? What does this all mean? So basically, if you're a Pisces man, you are seen as someone that's very emotional, okay? And someone that's able to tap into other people's emotions, and you're almost kind of like a sponge, you know? But you're just also the type of person that likes to go with the flow. Pisces is a mutable sign, so that means that they know how to go with the flow, all right? So that's one thing, if you meet a Pisces man, off the back, you're gonna realize that he's very in tune with his environment and that he's in tune with how people feel around, how people are feeling around him. And this just makes for him to be a very spiritual person, okay? So when we talk about Pisces, we have to realize that Pisces is a sign that encompasses all 12 of the zodiac signs. So Pisces is a person that is able to tap into a lot of different emotions and a lot of different realms. So Pisces are very psychic and intuitive type people. So these men are men that are more so catering. And so these men will be able to be more emotional in relationships. Men that are able to understand the emotions. Men that are able to pick up on your emotions. So for a Pisces man, this allows for him to be very romantic and it allows for him to really truly care about other people. Another thing about Pisces is that they are a very spiritual sign. So these men have a very strong spiritual belief. Whether it is a belief in freedom, whether it's a belief in whatever the case may be, whatever, whether it's a belief in astrology, whatever their spirituality is, whatever their religion, whatever the case may be, these people have their own um, spirituality. They have their own way of looking at the world, you know? These are the type of people that they have been through a lot of different experiences that's helped to shape how they feel. And they are people that are able to pick up, like I said, on other people's emotions. So in return, it allows for them, because they're ruled by Jupiter, these are the type of people that they, they're they very freeing. You know, Pisces people don't like to be tied down. You know, when we talk about emotional you may think, oh, they're clingy, and they can be, but for the most part, Pisces people are people that can get overwhelmed in love, especially if your Venus is in Pisces like me, I can over exhaust myself in love. So I can just love someone, give them a lot of attention, care about their feelings, care about their emotions, to almost like, just to know like, till I just burn out, till I just have to take time to myself. So when you, what a Pisces, they are very, Pisces men are very capable of loving. They're very capable of catering to their loved ones, you know, whether it's family, friends, whatever the case may be. Pisces are very emotional and they can connect with you psychically. But being ruled by Jupiter kind of just allows for them to want to um, be philosophical and kind of be idealistic in a way. And so when it comes to relationship with these people and Neptune makes them very dreamy and just want to um, just idealize. To understand Pisces, you really have to understand that they're ruled by two planets. And so this is what kind of makes them a little bit complex because the Jupiter side is the one that's given them the spirituality. You know, they're, it's the reason why these people seem very helpful, you know, why they care about the world. You know, Pisces people care about everybody. You know, they get along with everybody. They don't discriminate at all. And it's because, you know, the planet Jupiter just helps to make this person be more jovial, more caring, you know, more um, 
into teaching and learning and reflecting on life and expanding and going through different experiences you know so it helps them to be very spiritual but then you have also the Neptune side which is also correlates with spirituality just as Jupiter I would say that you know having been ruled by Neptune as well it creates for them when they're in a relationship or just relating to anybody you know these are the type of people they don't schedule out their lives they don't plan they more so go with the flow because they are people that kind of live in their own worlds you know and that's why people say that Pisces are crazy and it's just because they dream you know they daydream a lot they dream about what they want in life and they feel everything like they can feel their surroundings they're very hypersensitive people so when you're dealing with a Pisces you have to remember that they're ruled by Neptune and Neptune just makes them a little bit more dreamy and the opposite of Pisces is Virgo it's all about Virgo which is all about structure looking at the details it's ruled by Mercury you know and so these people and Pisces does not do well in Mercury so Pisces men for the most part they can have a lot of emotions and they can be very emotional but the, the reason why they may retreat to themselves um, is because they don't know how to communicate their emotions they don't really know how they're feeling you know sometimes they could be they're very moody they're, they're very moody and their moods change very often so one minute the Pisces could be feeling like this and then the another minute like you know something could happen in their environment and it just throws their whole vibe off so that's one thing to understand about Pisces men I would say as a man um, Pisces is a pretty feminine side uh, print is a pretty I, I want to say Pisces is pretty masculine but it does take on a lot of feminine traits um, so I would say that as a man being a Pisces you're more so seen as especially if you're Mars and Pisces I would say that you're seen as a little bit more passive um, and just more going along with the flow you know you're the type of person that's very creative and you're able to use your emotions and how you feel and just the world around you to be able to connect and to understand life and people so you're emotional yes but you're creative and you can use those emotions to create something very beautifully now Pisces have a very a great need to escape and to be very like um, just kind of delusional you know they don't really like to live in reality so a lot of Pisces I know like to drink a lot of Pisces men I know really love to drink alcohol because it just makes them feel like, you know, um, it makes them more in tune with their emotions like they already are. And it just helps for them to feel like they're in an outer realm. You know, it helps for them to feel like that. So, um, Pisces people don't like the feeling of being on earth. They don't like the feeling of responsibility all the time. It, this will change depending on other planets in your chart. I know a lot of you guys watch these Pisces, these Pisces men and these zodiac sign men and women video and you guys just automatically just jump straight to oh I'm born a Pisces so this is how I am. No, there's different aspects in your chart. You have a whole birth chart. You're not just a Pisces sun sign. So you can have different traits in your chart that would make you more um, not so dreamy not so delusional make you want to attain more responsibility you know if you have a virgo moon and your pisces sun you would be more responsible um so that's one thing to understand um you know pisces people definitely are people that go with the flow they don't like to plan their day out unless they have a job or they have other responsibilities in their life that forms that you know that makes them do that but for the most part they like to chill they like to be very passive they like to go with the flow they're mutable so whatever the case may be if they want to go out one day with their bros but their bros are like oh let's do this instead they, they don't have no problem being like all right you know let's do it let's kick it so that's one thing to understand about Pisces they love to have fun they love to create they love to be in the moment they love to live in the moment and they love to to let go and release and you know these aren't the type of people they don't really like to be um they like to care they like to be um in emotional relationships but they don't they will get overwhelmed with it and so pisces will, will always the, the the fish pisces will always they could love you one minute and that's how they're vibing but the next minute like 
oh the current changed and now they're doing something else now they're feeling something else you know so they always are looking for um they pisces people need to um find alone time in order to rejuvenate themselves and and to come back being that lovely pisces person so if you like a pisces guy my um or if you are a pisces guy i just would say my advice is to learn more virgo traits because we live on planet earth and whenever i talk about a sign that doesn't like to to necessarily be in the 3d all the time that likes to escape maybe like to smoke weed a lot you know um, whatever the case may be you just may not like to be in this reality all the time consciously I would just say learn Virgo traits learn how to schedule learn how to put things into routine pattern structure learn how to schedule um, and I feel like this will help to balance any kind of um, forgetfulness or just um, feelings of just drifting away and feelings of not being stable and not being grounded like I said each Pisces is different so yes that's pretty much what I have for Pisces I will be continuing this video with following up with the Pisces woman and Pisces in bed and the Pisces emotions so please make sure that you stay tuned to watch those videos at the end of this video those videos will pop up when they are uploaded so please make sure that you go ahead and check out those other four Pisces videos that I mentioned if you really like this one and if you like this one please go ahead and share this video make sure that you go make sure that you guys go ahead and share this video with somebody that you know that will find it helpful um, if you know a Pisces or whatever the case may be just go ahead and share this video so we can get more people to be informed about y'all okay so yes thank you don't forget to go ahead and comment down below to let me know your two cents if you stayed all the way to the end but you didn't really got much to say but you really appreciate me making this video please go ahead and comment some star emojis because you guys are my all-stars and I love you guys so much and I'm so glad that you guys are watching this video with me and share my passion for astrology all right thank you guys so much don't forget to subscribe smash the notification bell so you know exactly when i upload a new video and i think that's it go watch some other ones and i'll see you in another one Mwah. peace i'm the one that makes it rain better ask me on my name damn she jamaican on her way to fame if i say that I means bitch i ain't playing no games you said you talking shit but you don't add my name i pull up on you real pretty you gonna feel ashamed bounce back game bounce Kurt Cobain. bangs i ran and brought it back what happened to your quarterback gang loyal fan base got the place jumping up oh shit they got my song on the radio turn it up for the nigga cause he need to know i got his ass tuned into the stereo yeah